Hi guys, my name is Dr. Rocker and today I'll show you how to draw four love and thunder. Let's go! And we start off with a helpline between the two shoulders, followed by a helpline which indicates the middle of the chest. With these helplines done, it's quite easy to construct the whole upper body. The right shoulder is pretty big because it's very near the viewer. And there we draw in our arm. And the hand is holding force hammer. So that's quite an easy one. The whole drawing will be very beginner friendly by the way. There we draw in the chest muscle. Or chest muscles actually, two of them. Here we draw in the neck. Just like that. Just find the right spot, the right distance to the shoulder and on top of the neck is our head of course. I hope you've all watched my how to draw heads video, so no troubles with drawing heads anymore. If you haven't, check it out. I, it, I guess it was even the last video before that. Um, here a very important part, this is the rib cage. The rib cage is standing out a little bit and the stomach muscles are in an angle a little bit pointing towards the stomach. Uh, I've already drawn in the bicep and the tricep as you have seen. Just the overall big muscle groups. Don't go too heavy on the muscle details in this one because uh, the, the costume has a lot of details. So. Yeah, you can draw in all the muscles. It's always good to draw them because it's practice, good practice, but it's not necessary because you won't see most of them anyway. The right leg is already drawn in, standing or actually resting on a rock, and the left, the left leg is uh, holding almost all of the body weight. Not so important to, to draw it properly because there will be rocks, afterwards. Now I sketch in the left arm which is standing out right there. Um, I didn't do the best job when drawing the fists right there so don't don't draw along with this one. I will change it later on. I mean it's an okay fist but it looks way better later when I when I bring more dynamic into the fist but you will see that in in a few seconds. Okay, the right forearm, also quite simple actually. This is where the hammer will stick out of the hand. And you can play around with the length of the hammer. I drew it in firstly like this and then I realized it's a little bit badly placed so you cannot see enough of the right leg. Then I thought I should I should do it like this, where it's a little bit shorter. So I just I just use the eraser to fix my mistake. And you can see there's a little bit of foreshortening in the hammer. Make sure to do that as well. Don't just draw a rectangle, make it three dimensional. So the line nearer to us needs to be a little bit longer than the one that's nearer towards uh, Thor's right hand. And I know it's a little bit exaggerated, but it's a comic book drawing. It, everything needs to be a little bit larger than life. And what's always a good idea is to use a ruler for stuff like that. So you definitely will have a straight handle of the hammer. Also, also with swords, it's very important to, to make sure that it's, it's right. And now you can see I'm erasing the, the left hand because... I realized it's it's not as I intended it to be. We want it to be a little bit more bent. Looks way more dynamic that way, don't you think? Yeah, that's better. Yeah, that's that's most of the main pose done already. Now we need to clean everything up a little with the eraser. Um, and from now on I will speed up the, the video a little bit because we are drawing all the details and you can still follow along, you can still hit the pause button. But for a cap costume with so many details, I highly recommend to use a reference, 
an original reference from from the movie like I did because there are so many lines it will get confusing and to make sure that the details look right then you have to understand them and properly see them not just draw draw a long line for line but really study it a little bit and so you know which shape is what and then you can draw along properly. But what you will definitely get from my video is a simplified version of, of all them details. So you can use also the drawing for reference, which you will also be able to find on my Instagram account, of course. And there will also be some in-between steps, not just a finished drawing, but in-between steps so you can use it properly for reference. For the foreground, we just draw in some quick rocks. They look always pretty cool and they are quite fitting to four. And then we already start with the details. And you can, you can see it's, I think it's double time, which means it took me twice as long to, to draw in all the details as you see them right here. But still you can you can make out that that I have to pause very often to take a look on how everything is supposed to be. It's it's not so easy with so many details. But like I said, this is already a little bit of a simplified version, which makes it easier than to to draw from a whole movie suit. But you can you can try it out however you like. And a thing that's very beautiful. You can also use this pose for Thor and draw him with his comic book costume or whatever costume you prefer. And it still will look pretty awesome because it's a cool pose. Thor is standing like the hero he is, uh, watching over the world, hammer in hand. So feel free to go nuts and maybe even create your own costume. And if you still want to achieve a look from the actual movie costume and try to make it right. Don't be a slave to the reference, that's not necessary. Just make sure that the overall lines or the, the ones you think are the most important one, that they are there and you can, you can invent some extra details and mostly you will have to get rid of some details because it will get too much but that of course depends on the size if you are drawing really big you can try and capture all of the details from the movie suit if you feel like it personally i think that's unnecessary i wanted to do a movie a movie for drawing but i'm happy with with the details i got in and what's also very cool when you do a, a drawing like that from a new movie that will come out and then you watch the movie then you're like oh man I know every millimeter of this freaking costume that's really a fun experience so don't miss out on that opportunity to have this cool feeling in the in the movie theater where you feel like you created the costume and speaking of the movie I'm really excited about the new 4 movie the trailer really looks amazing I'm sure it will be funny and it has some like fairy tale vibes to it, which for some reason I like. So like I said, I'm really excited. I'm pretty sure it will be a very good movie. I also like the Doctor Strange movie was the last Marvel one. Uh, it was a little bit weird at some points, but still a very cool movie. But for me, I'm pretty sure the 4 one will be even better. But still, I need to draw Doctor Strange. I know, there have been a lot of requests and I wanted to draw him for so long and for some reason something comes up all the time. But I will, I, I definitely will do a Doctor Strange drawing tutorial because it's a really cool character, especially in the movies. And yeah, it will come, promise. And you can see the details do the trick. It already looks pretty cool. And you can definitely see, yes, that's from the new movie. It's always a bit tough to find good reference for legs, especially when the movie is not out and there are just those few images. But the best way, what I can really highly recommend is 
to find a picture of a toy and there already are some toys of uh, from for love and thunder and i got one i will show it to you right here and you can immediately see all the details are very well to be seen and it looks like a pretty cool toy by the way and i've seen also four girl is available so there's something for your christmas wish list Okay, also a lot of details here on the leg armor. It's it was quite some work actually to to produce all these little bumps here and there and all the different surfaces. But it was also a lot of fun to draw this one. And you can see I have to I have to use the eraser all the time of course because um, you very often you realize okay this needs to be in, an, in a different angle so it, it will fit and even though there is reference you are constructing the whole thing and inventing it new kind of because you want to fit it in your style and you want to fit it in your size of drawing like I was talking about earlier if the drawing is bigger you can do more details of course but you have to downsize of most of the details or a lot of the details at least to make make a decent drawing of it so you are actually reinventing the whole costume when you draw it like that which also makes it more fun for me at least i i don't like to i don't like to have to draw everything exactly like like it's might supposed to be i always want to create something new at least a little and yeah that's the cool thing about styles you can draw everything in your style or the style you just like to use and then it's it's your rules that's that's really a very very nice thing about that about drawing and still you can still do a a costume and don't break too many rules and still have a lot of fun with it. So please feel encouraged to go nuts, but still stick to what's important. And if you should have trouble finding out what's important, just concentrate on the overall biggest shapes and the big shapes, they should look like they are supposed to look. You can alter them here and there a little bit if you think it needs a bump or something like that. But don't go too crazy with the big shapes because they mostly will define the overall look that is necessary to recognize the suit or the character or whatever. And another thing that's very important concerning this subject, when you are drawing, in, like in this case, a leg with all the armor on it, you have to make sure that the other leg looks the same. So when you are kind of recreating or adjusting the costume to your drawing style or drawing size, it's okay to do minor changes, but make sure that you take these changes to the rest of your costume, because otherwise it would look weird. Once a shape is defined, stick to it. And of course there are characters where it's not very important to have a symmetrical armor or something like that. But if, you, if it's supposed to be symmetrical, it should be symmetrical. So be sure to make the same choices. But when you draw an armor on the right arm and then you draw the armor on the left arm, it's only slightly different. That looks off. That's a no-go. And now we're drawing the face. I was looking at Chris Hemsworth for reference but only to a certain extent because this is very small and the smaller the face, the less details you can put in there. So don't break yourself up too much about, about getting the likeness of a, of a character or of an actor when you're drawing in a size like that. Because this most likely won't work out too good anyway when it's so small and especially when you ink it because you will not be able to to produce proper shadings, you would need to create all the facial muscles as they are supposed to be. Especially since it's so small. 
I was also thinking about maybe drawing him with his helmet on because he has a pretty cool helmet in the movie. At least I have seen it in in one scene in a trailer. But at the end I decided to to go ahead and do the the most common one. Sorry for the screams in the background. I think you might be able to hear them. That's my little daughter, I guess. It's Sunday, they having a day off and they are going nuts. So that's just the way it is. Sorry about that. I need an extra, an extra studio, but who has that? Certainly not me. Okay, the cape, just a few lines and then again the cleaning up and you can see it's a nice, nice looking face, nice looking fella. Now we draw in some small details. Uh, on the suit. I'm sorry, it's a little bit almost out of the camera, but the focus will be back in the middle again. Here we go. Okay, um, the cape already already done. Just wanted to make sure that the flow is right. And of course, we need to draw in some cracks and all the different surfaces on the rocks. There will be a lot of black areas as well because. This is the foreground and the foreground should point you to, to the actual drawing. And the most important part is our character. So it's always nice to use a little bit more black, black surfaces. So the, the contrast is bigger and the character is standing out more. And here you can see I've drawn in the the stomach muscles, but they are almost not necessary or yeah, they are necessary for for kind of a roadmap of the character, but we will not see any of those once the drawing is done. But that's the way it is with the four costume, especially the movie one. There are a lot of different different surfaces and they cover up all a, a lot of the goods because I like to draw stomach muscles and ribs and stuff like that. But anyway, but it's, it's, still, it's still a very cool figure, very cool character. And um, Chris Hemsworth doesn't have a, a chest like this, but it's, it's a comic book drawing still. It's the movie suit and it's based on, on Chris Hemsworth's character. But I still wanted to, to do a comic book drawing. But you can see it's working. It doesn't have to be uh, exactly like like the actual human being. But you can go ahead and and draw it exactly like, like you see it on the reference, if you prefer that. But for me it's comic book drawings. That's what I love. So that's what I do. Lots of small details there. These these connections between the between those circles, they are also in most of the original uh, comic book drawings of four. So that's that was refreshing to see something else. Um, I actually am not the biggest fan of the technical stuff they did with with the four with the four characters it doesn't look bad but I if I would be the designer on on these I think I would go I would have gone more like dark ages you know what I mean it I think it would would have been the better fit but yeah that's just the way they did it so I need a lazy eye. That's not working. <laughs> Make sure that you don't draw a lazy eye on four. That's better. Yeah, what else is going on there? Lots of straps everywhere. Some cracks in the hammer. And I know it looks like in the movie the four girl is getting the hammer, but in some scenes he has it in his hand and I wanted to, to draw this hammer just because I like it more than than the other one. Oh my, I don't even know. Is it Stormbringer? 
I think it's called Stormbringer. Don't kill me if I'm wrong. Anyway, I prefer the, the typical four hammer, force hammer. Um, this ribbon was a little bit too long, so I did it again. But you can see the whole drawing is coming together and looking looking pretty cool, I think. And I I was drawing it, keeping in mind that I wanted to to use my kind of newfound style with all my hatchings and small little details and I love I love those parallel lines I do all the time and you will see later on they work brilliantly on on the costume details I did there which is also especially great when you draw a character a little bit smaller smaller size then this method with my million lines is working greatly I think but please let me know down in the comments if you like this new style I'm, I'm doing a lot lately. And these, these scales, they are supposed to be exactly like that, so I did them like that. I was thinking about doing uh, like real fish scales. Oh, there I realized I, I drew too many of those. But I didn't see that good enough in the reference, but then I took a closer look and I found out that the upper scale thingy needs to be like like I did it then. Um, yeah, I, I would have preferred like fish scales, but in the end I decided to stick with the original movie costume. I gave him a little bit of a longer beard because with this size it's way easier or way better looking to draw the beard a little bit longer. You can also go ahead and draw a three day beard with just some stumps, but that's the way I wanted it. And I guess that's it. Okay people, the main and basic drawing is done. All the details are in there and this already makes for a nice drawing. You could leave it like that, you could just ink the lines and maybe color it with Copic markers or you are doing a whole inking process as I will do right now. Therefore I will use a Tombow brush pen and some Micron fine liners. And since the most important part is done already, I will put on some music for the inking process so the video won't get too boring. Let's go! I have a dream, that's all I need, I'll make it happen with some work and belief. Know what I want, so I'll take it on I've made mistakes, but mistakes make you strong Let's break it down for a minute I want the crown, I'm gon' get it You hear me loud, man, I'm winning Yeah, Charlie Sheen will be grinning These ladies know that I'm sitting And this is just the beginning I'm closing in the night inning There ain't no point in resisting Living life like a dream Big, big, right, that's the thing Every night got a team I've been tied to the scene Out on stage, here on screen Okay, it's a dream And I pray as a team One day it be me If I want it, then I'll get it Head down, don't regret it Push myself to to the limit, if I play it then I win it I'm just saying, I'm just living for today For a minute, I don't stay I just lose it, have no shame, I admit it You can find me To see if I succeed To see if I And here we go guys, for Love and Thunder I did my best to make a comic book drawing out of the movie suit I think it looks pretty cool I hope you had fun watching this video and I hope you had fun drawing along and please let me know down in the comment section do you like this style? Because I really like all those little lines and small details but let me know what you think about that. And that is it for today's video. Thank you for watching my friends, I really appreciate that. If you're new to the channel please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notification bell so you won't miss out on my next tutorial. And until then I want you to go now and watch this video. That's where I show you how to draw the 2022 movie Batman. Also pretty cool drawing I dare say. It was, it's, it's a really cool outfit as well. So I think you might enjoy this one also. So see you there my friends. Have a great day and don't forget to draw every day.